Hello everybody, welcome back to Stoneheart and Caldor with me Banto. To back here again and uh, we are gonna continue with uh, improving the entrance to our town today. It already looks pretty good, there's some few things we can do. For example, we're gonna remove this market stall that is pretty much in the way where we're gonna have our bridge later that's gonna go over to this island here. But we're gonna be build something big and awesome in the future. It still is, like I said, pretty far away still because it's a huge, huge product, you know? The one fire pit exchange for seven baskets of the corns. I don't think I want to do it. I, I don't want to give away my fire pits, I want to keep them. So I was thinking about what more we can decorate this with. I was thinking about adding potentially some lamps here. I think that could be a good idea. And also was thinking about adding some ideas and things like that. And also I think I want to have more trees here like we have here. I think that's really cool. I like when houses have those things. Like you go up to your house and there's loads of like trees up there. It just, it looks, it just looks pretty epic to me. So I'm going to plant a few more of these and... Hopefully it's going to look pretty good. So maybe something like that. I don't think these are like perfectly placed. But I think that's going to be a pretty cool pathway like this. And when you come in from the town you see first this awesome well and everything. The statues and then you go here and you see the trees and you go to the town. I just think it's going to be pretty awesome. I would think this would be a very very cozy little town. We're still building our farmhouse. This is like a current product for my people for the moment. I do hope that my people are doing what they're supposed to do. You never know with this game. It seems like they're building, so that's good. So let's see what we can decorate it with a little bit more. I do think I want to add these lamps I was talking about. Like putting them here would be cool. Or we can make maybe so it sticks out some like some uh, lamps from here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around with that idea. That it would go out something. Maybe like this. We we'll do the same for the other side, of course, so it's gonna look the same for both. And we can, like, for example, go inside and put this little lamp. I'm thinking of using the wooden one. I kind of feel like I want to have that one. So we can either put it there or here. I think that. I don't know if I think this looks better. I kind of like it when it's like. kind of like that. Let's maybe go for that idea, a little bit more light. I just want to add a you know, ton of like small details. I was even thinking about changing so like uh, the textures around this was a little bit different. So it wouldn't be the same everywhere, pretty much. But I haven't fully decided if we should do that or not. But we got this space free, which is really, really good. We really needed that, so. I think we're gonna see with uh, what we have like for some flowers maybe that we can put out. I don't think we can see them in here, maybe a few of them. We do see a few flowers here. And we have these ones that we put out somewhere. Okay, we got some invaders, can deal with them first. Wow, they're already like inside our town. Just look at us. One ogre, but as we know, there's gonna be more. It's not gonna be as one ogre, you know. Uh, that ain't going to happen, you know. Let's send our troops over. He's going here, he has to bash our door. You don't care for anything else than bashing our door. Hope you get a repair soon for this. It should be, if I don't remember it wrong, the engineer that do these things. That's gonna be nice. I still kinda wonder where the kobolds are, because ogres, they normally comes with a bunch of kobolds, so they could be around. I'm gonna deal with this wolf. I don't want to have of like random wolves just around my base. I don't like that. We're gonna get it to do it away. That was pretty easy, but we got a really good armor, so that is to be expected. Also, want to see if we have someone that we're gonna like rename here. We have anyone that's like unnamed. We got Rogue Bell Tower. This is a guy that's not named, so I'm gonna name this guy today. So this is gonna be JJ. Welcome to our town, JJ. Hope you can have a great, great time here and building some awesome building for us. Probably gonna remain as a builder for us, I would think. We got a little bit more trees out, that's really good. Also wanna see the thing before we continue with this. I wanna see how much like potions we have here. Like I made this base before that where I wanted to have potions to put out. I'm gonna place a few more like here. 
That's a good like spot to be able to like add and use potions when we need it. I'm also gonna try to start to like use this a little bit more when we play in hard mode because hard mode it requires so much like more stuff to be like perfect and better and everything so we're gonna try to do that. Let's see what we got for things to place out again. Let's check out like the flowers that we was looking at before. Okay, the daily update for that. We didn't beat it, we need more food. We got these ones, they're pretty large and these are a little bit smaller and we got these which are really really small. We have a lot of banners, we need banners dudes. We should have banners, that would be cool. I know that one of you guys said that we should have banners to prove that we are the bosses here, so maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we should hang them like at the walls here. Maybe three for that side and three for the other side. That was one was a little bit low down. You can have to remove. I think this spot. One more higher, okay. And also see that I haven't made them the same, so I'm gonna fix a few things. I think I maybe made this the same, but maybe some of this disappeared. I know that like we saw before, like this disappeared was designing it was some stuff disappearing. I hope there's not more stuff that disappeared in the designing. I could have missed this thing, so we're not gonna blame. Not gonna blame the game for that. But you never know with this game, so like, always when you build something big, try to do many saves, try to overlook it before you build it, because something kinda disappeared. For whatever reason, who knows. So let's add more banners here then, we can have two more of those. That should break away, yep. That would be a nice little entrance, I'm thinking also maybe we should put out some... I wanna have like... Maybe guardians that maybe they could be like standing here. Let's expand the, like the entrance just a little bit. Maybe we we'll make it go out pretty far like that. Then we can put some statues. I'm not sure if we're gonna like add something underground with them. Kind of like this statue. I think about having it next to that. Or should we have them here? Let's try to place them on top of this thing for I think that's really really cool. I wanna see how it will look. This is an, a local hero statue and a sword instead. I don't think we're gonna combine too many. We don't wanna like overdo the things also because then it might look bad. I like this thing. I know that we had these hedges also, which I can't see like when we're putting them out for some reason. We got these one the hedges. I'm thinking about putting them behind here, but uh, I think that's something like we're gonna add later. We can actually maybe add them now, but it's not gonna be like the same structure pr pr probably. And we don't wanna add too many stuff, like if they're gonna build this thing, we don't wanna break it with like, oh, you had something in the way. I don't know if the people are gonna pick it up, so we can have it like that. I'm thinking about adding my turnip shooters here for now also. They're not gonna be here later, we're just gonna put them now some extra defense. I want to see them, you know, I want to see them use. I never see them shoot or anything. Maybe we can place these traps out here. So, just a few ones around the entrance. Good. Pretty nice. So, I think that maybe we should build this thing. Like, have it like this. But we have to make sure that, like, this farmhouse get done first, so... If you want to design more things for it, we can like, you know, we can definitely do that. And very very soon I think we're gonna start with working with the bridge that's gonna go over here. I wanna make something awesome with this. So, do you guys think the bridge should be a straight bridge? Like, it's going like, pretty much the same height all the time. Or do you guys think the bridge will raise up and be like majestic and goes in here? Maybe it hits up like... But like up at the keep or like a tower or something and you go through the passage and then you go down. I can I can show you guys kinda what it could be like. We're just gonna make some simple thing. We're not gonna we're not gonna use this thing, but uh, I'm gonna make it so you guys can kinda see maybe how it could look. So let's say it maybe would be something like this. And the wood towers. We're just gonna add some walls. And then it would be 
I will not gonna change that one. Then I would be, for example, stairs like you know in between this. So pretty much when they come from the bridge, they would come from out here, for example. They come over the bridge, maybe have like a similar thing as this to this side. And they come through this and they go down here. I think it's a pretty cool thing. So it would be like towers going up here, of course, so you know it would like keep going up, so it would be something like this. And then some nice details on top, of course. I think that could be pretty cool to have a both sides to bonus. Maybe we should even I don't know if we should start working with day. I think I'm gonna do it in the next video. The next video or the next video after this, we're gonna start and seriously work with this. Let me know guys what you think about this idea with having like two towers, you go on bridge and then you go down the stair. I'm gonna let you guys, you know, be a part of this thing. It's more fun when you guys are also part of this. Let's remove that ID for now. Got some grey goblin wolves. So I guess we're gonna send my people over. Let's go. Have any of you guys played that game yet? No Man's Sky that I've been talking about a couple of times. It really looks so awesome. I'm looking forward to in the future when I will be playing it. It looks so freaking awesome. I'm I'm pretty jealous of the people that are playing it to be honest. I hope you guys are playing that game are having a really good time. So for some reason after that battle, some people decided it was a good way to go back. Like you know, this combat system has never stopped to like amaze me of how weird things are going. Like these dudes were like, okay, we killed one of them. Let's go back to base before even reaching the flag. What is that thing? His arm looks so amazing. And I also really like the idea that they showed recently. They were talking about how the edge of the map is gonna look in the future. So this is how it looks for now. It's pretty much, you know, it just stops here. And there were so many things that were like a book they showed, like you would be playing like inside this book and it would be like a book outside here with pages and everything, it looked pretty cool. Personally, I would really really like it if we were like procedurally generated as we go to the, towards the border. Maybe to some kind of maximum thing, I don't know. You know, the map has to get bigger, if it's gonna be multiplayer and you gotta add like more stuff to the game, they, they gotta have to make it like the maps bigger at least. But I would love maybe like... You can have like missions, you can send your people out there, and then it loads like a new instance, like in an MMO. And you go to like an instant, you attack a town, like a goblin town, or you go to another town to like trade things and stuff like that. Oh my god. And revert this thing. Oh my god, dudes, do you see this? This is what I hate about this thing. Like if you click it there, and then click this once, you change the entire thing. It is so stupid, it's so easy that it screws things up. So we, I'm just gonna fix this and I'm gonna... You're not, you guys not gonna have to see this annoying thing. I hope I fixed it at all for now, I hope it should be fixed. But you know, that's so annoying, I really don't like this thing that you can change the entire thing. Like, sometimes, yeah, it can be useful. But if you're doing a lot of details, it really is annoying. Clicking one time, like, removes everything. And if it should be in the way that this for the moment... In my opinion, it should be like, if you select a specific of these, or it's like this color or this color, it should affect that one, not everything else, you know, just like you're doing in a painting software paint or Photoshop or whatever you're doing. You should only paint the thing like you're using the paint bucket tool on the current thing, so. I hope they're gonna change that. I really don't like the way it is for the moment. I really wanna build this. I wanna see how much this is gonna require. We need a lot of stone. So maybe that's something we should try to do. We should gather more stone. And I guess we're gonna have to go into the mountains a bit. We haven't been here for a while on this map. But I'm gonna dig out a bit. I think I'm even gonna go down a bit, to be honest. Maybe dig this entire thing out. That's gonna be a lot to dig out. Dig out. Also gonna have to fix these things, by the way, so we can get up easier here. With stairs and some... So I'm gonna start to do something with this. We're gonna have to do, like, connect more roads also. So making roads is maybe a thing also we should like try to focus on improving for the moment. We're gonna get like the same width as we have for the other ones. Seven in width. Gonna go here pretty much. Maybe we add a seventh on this side. Have it like that, and then we're gonna have this smaller road that's gonna be in the back here. I'm gonna try to like 
connect the town a lot more than this for the moment through the roads and everything. Let's do this one also. This is gonna be really good. It's gonna save a lot of time for my people moving around. I think maybe we should make this one wider. We started earlier. Now we can see the trees, by the way, on top of it. Looks pretty cool. I like that. Very different. So, let's chop down these two trees, because I think we're gonna move this road a little bit so it matches perfectly with the stair thing that I'm gonna take care so We're pretty much all over the place. There are, like, things we wanna design, things we wanna fix. This is gonna be a nice improvement, like, roads connects the town, so we're gonna make the travel faster and... It also makes it look nicer, I would say. So, I guess we could... Um, let's see how wide this is. This is 8 in width, so maybe we make this road 8 instead. This is one block wider than this one, but... I don't think that's gonna matter too much. Something like that. This can be nice. That also means that we can add this like outline that we can have more places but here we're probably gonna have maybe some house or something later on probably we can add any like outline here for now here we go let's see if there are any more spaces we want to fill in but i have to do something here later not sure exactly what we're gonna have there maybe we'll have a, like a church here we will have like the shirt out here with this big castle keep if in the fort that we can have later on there's many like choices that we can do. I think maybe like even here we can have like farms so we can have more farms top of here would be nice. It took quite a while to build this farmhouse it was so long since I like design. But this should give us stone and I think actually I want to like I want to build this road I want to get this road down. Because it's gonna speed up everything. You're gonna be able to go to the mine faster, we're we'll able to travel to like stockpile faster and everything, so they're gonna be able to go around. I think we're also gonna mine out here, we got a like nice iron vein, so we're gonna get that. Not sure if we should make anything more like the blacksmith yet. Let's see if there's anything that we maybe need to have. Maybe there's some more... Yeah, we have a, we have more gold that we can mine, like, to melt these things. I guess we can put some of these, like, for maintaining. It's pretty good to have for me. Like, whenever you get a new one, you will be melting them, so... You can maintain more of these. Maybe maintain ten of those. I do, I do think we have like armors for all people. I guess we can make well, like one more bladed shield, why not? And let's make maybe two of these symbol. It's a lot of storage, we might need that. But we already have a lot of storage in this house. And this one over here, we have so much. And there's gonna be even more once we build this thing. So with stone art, it definitely takes, you know, it really, really takes a long while when building things. But I think like in all games, when it takes a long while, it really feels better when it's actually built. It feels more like special. So, it's a bit rewarding also. I'm still thinking if I should out add like an outline for this pathway. But I don't know if we're gonna have houses here or houses here. We gotta be a little bit realistic also, because I don't think we're gonna fill this entire like thing in. Make this thing with this town before like Alpha 18. When we decide that we're gonna make a new town, so. But I really wanna do this thing, guys. So, let's buy some food, so why not? I think we were needing food before, so. Maybe some audio pot pie should be nice. Let's see if we have stuff. Pretty much, we're always doing like these tools that we're always selling, so we're gonna try to sell them. We have some farmer's hose at least, and maybe something we want to sell. Maybe some swords we're not going to use it for now. We don't need to have four tramps knife. 
And I think we can sell some pelts. I don't think we need all the pelts we have for the moment. So maybe we go for that. That should be should be good enough. We don't need that many of random spells. Also. We're gonna get away from a few of them. Let's see how they do with this road. I, have, I think they have like dug it out at least. And they also started to build it, so that's good. So maybe we should like start with working with this thing that I wanted to make really long time as well. So I think I will use the same color for these stairs. So we have maybe it will go it will start once you get in a little bit a little bit further in. Maybe something like this would be nice. Get up there and I'm thinking about having so maybe some towers up here. Before we do that, I think we're gonna um, remove a couple of these ladders first to start with. We're gonna do pretty much the same thing up here. So it's gonna continue our road. I guess we can go that, that far with it. So my people are almost done with this road, so they did a pretty damn good job, and this should speed up our movement so much. It looks way better. Lulu's also level 3 farming is awesome. I think we're gonna get some podios. This podio is hungry, so maybe we should go and butcher it so we don't have to feed it, I guess. Good guy Banto, we say. I wonder if we need to get like more podio meat. Maybe we're like making a little podio meat for them. We are supposed to try to keep 10 and, you know, I think that should be, I think that should be enough. Ooh, okay, we need to increase the net worth by t about almost 2,000, so. And how random, my people are like patrolling the gather to farm, just like, always going here looking at the farm, what's going on here, is anyone stealing our food, is anyone gonna take it from you guys, I don't think so. So I wanna make more corn, because I think we need to get more corn. We have it, so we have enough for like, both for the, like, you know, food for our audios and also for food for our people. That's, we're gonna grow more corn. I think we can, like, continue to work with this. This should be almost done. Like, once they put these last parts, I'm gonna, like, connect this to this. I don't want to do it now because it's a building that's not done. And maybe if we connect it before that, you know, we might screw something up. So we're gonna add a road here. And then we're gonna continue with this one. Let's see how far in we started with it. Like, free pretty much. That's pretty nice. I was thinking a bit before, like, maybe we should make it so it's like this. That would make it look a little bit different until they get up here, pretty much. I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. And that's gonna be nice. I think that looks better. More details to the whole thing. I think we should be able to like connect this. And it should be good, it should be the same building now, that's nice. That's good. I think that's gonna be really nice. So I'm gonna wanna build this as well. I might like constantly keep my people away from building the farmhouse. I just wanna speed up like outside our entire town. I wanna make it more efficient. Like go to the mines and everything. So we're gonna do another road. I'm not sure if we're gonna like keep the road in like in the same color since we're like getting up here, I think it makes Maybe a little bit sense that we're actually like using like dirt road. Maybe that's what we should do with this. Maybe here is like a little bit wider, yes. At the entrance of this like mine that we got. Maybe this is, uh, let's see, five in width, something like that. 
kind of a little bit wider as well. I want to make it look like it would be in some kind of way, some kind of mine, mining place. Do something like that. And then maybe somewhere like, like maybe here, it connects with the normal road. So something like that should be pretty nice, I would say. I don't think they're like working on this house much for the moment. There's someone working at least, at least moving around some stuff. But uh, another idea that I have with this is that we're gonna have towers that's gonna be like one at that side, one at that side, one at his, this side and one at this side. So I think that's gonna make it look cool, but it's something that I'm gonna wait with a little bit because we got other things to do, you know, do before we do that thing. So it's gonna take a little bit of time until we get all those cool things going. But guys, I think that's gonna be it for today. I know that we're not like building much for the moment, like it takes a while in this game. It's just gonna take a while. Hanging with me as we're building the buildings and we're gonna keep designing, adding more work from our people in the future and uh, adding more details at the time, making it look more and more awesome. So guys, thanks for checking out this episode today with me, Banto, in Stoneheart in Calor. So guys, if you like this video, feel free to leave it a like and also, hope to see you guys soon in the next video. Have a great day, take care.